title, A Beacon of Hope. I, Abraham Lincoln, was born on a simple farm in Hodgenville, Kentucky, in 1809. My childhood was filled with hardships and struggles, but my determination to learn and grow never wavered. I spent hours poring over books borrowed from neighbors, teaching myself the principles of logic, mathematics, and grammar. As a young man, I worked as a store clerk in Indiana and Illinois, but my true calling was politics. In 1832, I ran for the Illinois state legislature and lost. Undeterred, I continued to campaign and speak on issues that mattered most to me. Equality, fairness, and the preservation of our young nation. In 1846, I was finally elected to Congress. It was an honor I cherished, but my heart ached as I watched the country divide over the issue of slavery. The tension between the North and South grew with each passing day, and I knew that something needed to be done. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, I was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Union Army. It was a heavy burden, but one I bore with pride and determination. I visited the soldiers in their camps, spoke words of encouragement, and did everything in my power to ensure their safety and success. The war was long and brutal, but we persevered. In 1863, as the tide began to turn in our favor, I issued the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing all slaves in Confederate territory. It was a moment of triumph and relief, not just for me, but for millions of enslaved people across the nation. The war ended in 1865, and with it came the opportunity to rebuild our country. I worked tirelessly to pass legislation that would ensure equality for all Americans regardless of race or creed. The Thirteenth Amendment, which abolished slavery, was just the beginning, but my work was not yet done. In 1865, as I delivered the Gettysburg Address, I urged the nation to remember the sacrifices made during the war and to strive for a more perfect union. It was a call to action that resonated with Americans across the country. As I sit here in the White House, Reflecting on my journey from a simple farm in Kentucky to the Presidency of the United States, I am filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment. But I also know that there is still work to be done. The struggle for equality and justice continues. But I believe that together we can make this nation a beacon of hope and opportunity for all. And so, my fellow Americans, I ask you to join me in this great endeavor. Let us continue to strive for a more perfect union, one that is built on the principles of equality, fairness, and justice for all. Together we can overcome any obstacle and create a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come.